God's peace be with you. Jesus calls us to follow him, to be his disciple. But discipleship is not easy. The demands of the kingdom are very challenging. We, of course, have no choice but to follow Jesus. But to follow Jesus in the right way is often not understood by most. Many are just trying to coast along, living their comfortable lives. But when we make decisions in the world, we properly assess the situation first. Jesus tells us that when we construct a tower, we must first calculate the cost. When we march into battle, we must assess if we can withstand a stronger force. So we must know and properly assess the demands of discipleship and then make our decision to truly follow Jesus. So what is true discipleship? It is total dedication to Jesus and His call. What does that entail? 1. We must not be attached to family. This does not mean family is unimportant. It is very important, very much so. But oftentimes, we use family to keep us from following Jesus more closely or more radically. And so Jesus shocks us with his radical teaching. As we read in Luke 14, verse 26, he says, If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Jesus, of course, does not tell us to hate our closest relatives, as we know we are to love them. In Semitic usage, to hate means to love less. So we love God with our whole heart, mind, soul, and strength. That leaves no room for such love in the same category. So even as we care for and love our family, it should take second place to Jesus. But oftentimes, we use family as our excuse not to serve or not to be faithful to community life and meetings. How then can Jesus use us in any which way? Number two, we must not be attached to possessions. Now, possessions are important to keep up the life of the family and even the Christian community and are God's gifts for us. But again, oftentimes possessions are what keep us from fully serving God. We even steal from God by not giving a tithe back to Him. Thus, Jesus tells us in Luke 14, verse 33, Every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. We are to renounce all. Jesus teaches us that we cannot serve God and mammon. Possessions will always have a strong influence on us, whether it is a decision to serve God or work more in order to earn more whether it is a decision to use more of our money for the work of the kingdom or just for our own needs and wants. Number three, we must be ready to accept suffering and persecution. The authentic gospel is that of the cross. Jesus went to the cross and invites us to follow him. Thus he tells us, as we read in Luke 14 verse 27, whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. But there are so many Christians who look for more comfort and convenience in life and disdain the cross. If we are so, Jesus cannot really use us. When the work becomes difficult and challenging, we really, really give up. In fact, the more we enter into the authentic Christian life and mission, the more intense will be the assault of the enemy, and thus the more we will be battered and bruised. We must see such assaults as blessings. A suffering purifies us, brings us closer and more dependent on God, humbles us, and allows us the privilege of participating in the cross of Jesus. God bless you.